All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? you are tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Monster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both these competitors. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. He comes 
forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Blocks the shot. That was the Just missed with the left there. Oh, collar tie. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Strong straight left there. Circling to his right. Big ball for Butch Lance. Now he gets back to range. Slips the punch. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Hit. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Great punch landing with so much power. Misses again with a right punch. Lands with a right hand. in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lunges forward with a left air. Blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, misses with the jab. Punch over the top. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. What a body kick. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Nice, sneaky head kick. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Nice punch land over the top. Slips the left hand. 
Ooh, blocks the shot. Big leg kick land. Just misses with the right. And they separate. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Beautiful strike. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Left hook counter. Look at him drive his shin into the whole spot with that body kick. Pretty good right hand. He blocks the punch. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch land. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Very tricky he throws that body kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. <laughs> oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. I mean, he has to throw one leg kick this whole time. Missed with that right hand. Turn it around. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? And misses with the right hand. Blocks that strike. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown. Scramble to his feet. Misses with that punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, big punch land. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Slips. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Big kick lands. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. A little single collar tie there. Ten minutes in the books.
right now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. I'm still right where we started. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Nice head kick. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Hard shots landing on both sides here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Stuff to take down, no problem. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful punch. It's a nice back and forth action here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, big left hand there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over, and it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Punch is blocked. Takedown defense holds up. What a punch. That was a thudding leg kick. Huge knee lands to the tight clinch. Got flip with the right hand. Ooh. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. the shot to the body. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He went high on that one. Oh! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Man, he 
his time and his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John. Stop it. Big power shot there. Connection with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the... <laughs> and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Blocks the shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch, lands. Slips to avoid the right. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Throws the right hand there. Well, missed on that one. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really Overwhelming his opponent with activity. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, big shot, man. Oh, nice counter right hand. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Under three minutes now to go on the round. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh! Both fighters throwing heat now. Ooh, what a punch. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Beautiful. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight in that left thigh, now starting to show signs of bruising. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He's just trying to throw those kicks, even though he's not in the best position to throw them. But that makes him tricky. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big punch land. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Right hand punch to the clinch. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looks like a man right on, the right on the cut. And he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut. He's just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split. 
showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Under one minute remains in round four of a possible five. And he lands a punch there, pretty good. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent worried. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the Back mount now. Down into his mount. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low. He's going right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. on that jab. Nice uppercut by the champion. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break it? Close guard. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push his away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice loop and punch. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Nice leg kick. Three minutes now to go in this one. Right hand on point. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And now he's got that tight clinch. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Nice straight right lands. Back and forth we go! Nice punch here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, he's oh, hurt. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Certainly a strong front runner for fight of the night as we go down to the wire here between these two combatants. They're both so skilled. They're both so prepared. We knew right away this is going to be a very evenly matched competition. Right hand punch from the clinch. Lunges forward with a left air. Nice strike. Blocks the shot. Look at the angle of that nice body. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. Oh! Oh! His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alex for Overeem's head. They continue to exchange. Straight right, he misses. He's able to slip the left there. Straight punch land. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight. After five rounds, the heavyweight champion remains the same.